What's up, Radar Force? It's Dragon Radar here with another Dragon Ball Super video. Today, I'm going to be explaining my thoughts on the Universal Survivor arc and how it's going to end. And whatever goes on in the midst of that, I'm going to try to explain it. Please note, I do not watch Dragon Ball Super subtitles. So anything that's happening in the saga, I don't know. All I can base it on is the certain things I overhear. So let's just get right into it and see where we get to. In this arc, we know that Universe 7 fighters will be Majin Buu, Krillin, Android 18, Android 17, Goku, Vegeta, Gohan, Master Roshi, Tien Shinhan, and Piccolo Man. We also know that Universe 7 is one of the weakest uh, universes with, that's competing in the tournament. I forget which one's the weakest, but I know they're like the second weakest, which is really bad. Especially because Master Roshi, Tien Shinhan, freaking Krillin, Android 17 and 18, they really stand no chance in a universal size competition especially if everybody's stronger than like a super saiyan 2 level which i assume they would be everyone's pretty much screwed besides majin buu goku vegeta and gohan and some could say piccolo but piccolo's gotten really weak lately or well, not weak he's just he hasn't increased lately and now we do know majin buu has been training for two hours and became like incredibly strong which i'm pretty sure he's not stronger than goku but if he trained for two more hours or like a whole day at that matter, he'd straight wreck the tournament, in my opinion. But that's probably not going to happen. He's probably just not going to do it. But, uh, pause. In the making of this video, some information has been revealed. Majin Buu will not be competing in the tournament. Many of you guys probably already know that. I posted a vid a week ago explaining this. But Frieza will be taking Majin Buu's place, which is really really exciting so with Frieza coming back we know he has the potential to backstab universe 7 which he might actually do that I think he's only coming back for like a day kinda like how Goku came back for one day I'm not exactly sure how this is gonna play out uh, ma many people say Frieza is the only enemy that's never like became good after being fought with Goku like usually Goku transforms that character into a new being and Frieza is the only one out of almost all the enemies that has zero chance of turning good so maybe this would be the arc he turns good we don't know but this video isn't about that so let's just continue on with the normal video anyways back to where I was talking about everybody training same goes for everybody else maybe Android 18, 17 and all of them might train and they might be able to get like to Super Saiyan 3 level not Roshi I don't even know why Roshi's in this tournament because you know darn well everybody's stronger than Roshi like I'd rather pick Yamcha than Roshi. Like, why Roshi? So, if they're putting Master Roshi in here, I think it's there's two reasons Master Roshi should be in here. For comedy, which is great. Or he has something, like, crazy under his belt that we don't know about, which would be also cool. But I think it's more for a comedy type thing there. So, I don't know. I can't see any other reason to put Master Roshi in there besides for comedy. Or he has some, like, super hidden thing we don't know about. Like, immortality. Don't ask me. Okay, now that we have analyzed the situation and everybody fighting in the tournament from Universe 7, now is where I'm going to give my verdict on how this saga will end. So, a few things that I know should not happen in this tournament. And if it does happen, it will upset a whole lot of Dragon Ball fans out there. Dragon Ball cannot end every villain saga or whatever is the problem they cannot end it with goku winning or saving the day that cannot happen one more time that's happened so many times now if it happens again it's going to get old very fast so with that said we know goku will not win the tournament what i suspect will happen if gohan vegeta or boo any person like that wins the tournament which in my opinion if one of them did win the tournament it would be kind of lame unless it had a plot twist in the end like maybe one of them turning on Goku because they found out that he started the tournament which would be epic. Like having his own son turn against his own father. That would be crazy. But then again Goku told Gohan what the consequences are and no one else. So if, if any of his teammates know about this they could easily get really pissed at Goku and sabotage him. Which I'm pretty sure sabotaging Goku wouldn't make a difference anyways. But I don't suspect this to be what's going to happen. But it is still a possibility. But my true theory to what's going to happen is... I believe Universe 7 
will lose the tournament. That would be the best result ever because hardly ever in Dragon Ball Z or Dragon Ball in general have they ever lost. We all know that Universe 7 will survive, obviously, because the in the Dragon Ball Z showed uh, Goku training Oob and whatnot after that with Pan, Bola, and all them. They're all in the tournament. We know that's canon now, but the question is, how will they survive? So if Universe 7 loses the tournament, that would technically mean their universe gets destroyed. Now, I don't think their universe will get destroyed and they get resurrected from the Super Dragon Balls. I don't think that's going to happen. But for some reason, I want to think that somewhere along the tournament, the Omni King will step in during the tournament or something. Someone's going to snap or something. I, I don't know. Maybe not snap, but we know Goku is friends with the Omni King. Maybe the Omni King will spare them, which that's that would be kind of lame too. But I think I think there's going to be a, a plot twist in the tournament. For some reason, I don't think the tournament's actually going to go along as planned. I think something or someone is going to like snap, whether it's the Omni King or any of the angels. I don't know. Something's got to snap because Goku or any of the Z fighters cannot win the tournament. To me, that would be the most obvious ending to everything that's ever happened in Dragon Ball. That cannot happen again. So my theory is someone such as the Omni King has to save them or something else happens to make everybody in the Universal Tournament team up together to stop the one person, which could be the Omni King, which I think would be epic. But then again, that's probably far-fetched. But that's that's my theory on it. Something, The tournament's not going to go as planned, and it's going to revolve around one person or something like that, and then, boom, they all have to team up, which would be great because Goku is technically looked as the enemy right now. So if they all team up, then they'll be like the Brotherhood, and they go after the one tournament. But I don't know. That's just my theory. So that pretty much wraps this video up. So if you did, in fact, enjoy this video... Please give the video a like, comment below, and please, please, please don't forget to subscribe because I'm going to be making more types of videos like this. I'm going to be nailing them, pumping them out. But uh, yes, please subscribe, like, and leave a comment below. Uh, join our Discord if you want to talk personally. Uh, we have a little small group in there as of right now. Uh, also, hit the bell beside the subscribe button, I believe. That will notify you for every video I post. Whenever I post it, boom, you get a notification. So that's great. But all right, guys, until then, I'll see you next time. Peace out, people. Take care. Have a good one. Bye.